So as that simplicity lawn mower or lawn tractor, however you want to say it, it's not technically a lawn tractor because it doesn't have a PTO to the back and it's not four-wheel drive. Um, but man, that thing just works just like a tractor. Um, for so for today's video, we're gonna be comparing it to um, a Honda four-wheeler, a Honda 420 four-wheeler. I feel like. The 520s and the 420s are the most ones that are bought. The 420s, smaller engine and are cheaper, so people probably do do go for the 420 more often. It is more of a more popular four-wheeler uh, for Honda's lineup. And we're gonna see if this lawnmower can outdo the Honda four-wheeler. And we're gonna see how well both of them can do. Um, I have high hopes for the lawnmower because I, I've worked it. Um, I've pulled a bunch of logs before. I just out of the woods, just in the trail and stuff. You know, stuff that's kind of cut off to the side makes the trail kind of look crappy. And just took this thing and dragged it up front here and uh, made a pile and probably future firewood. And um, I haven't pulled any with my four wheeler yet. And I know my four wheeler will do it. Both two wheel drive. Um, I know my four-wheeler has better traction, so I don't know, the, the lawnmower might get stuck today. Um, knock on this wood block that it doesn't. Oh, baby. Yeah, so, just a camera, huh? You seeing hello? All right, well, today's video might need this air compressor. Wonderful Bauer air compressor. It's a full battery, one and a half amp hour battery. A little handheld compressor. The compressor is like 20 bucks and the battery is like maybe 30 bucks. And uh, this thing's really good. It has a couple different attachments on it. So it's really cool. I don't know if the tire on this is flat or not. But um, probably gonna have to jump this, I'm assuming. It, and in Michigan, we finally have snow. It's, oh, what is it? Is it, is it the New Year's? Is it 2024 yet? No, it's the day before, isn't it, Elvis? All right, but, um, yeah, so it's like very late December and we're finally getting snow. Um, all right, um, I gotta take this hood off, Gunner. Got your new collar, buddy? New electric collar? Oh, I'll put the link to that collar down below. It actually works really good. It, it um has this remote and you know it has is it on? It has settings, uh, you know, different settings, you know, full battery and everything. The remote's really good. Charge it down at the bottom. Uh, it's not supposed to get wet or anything. So let me grab this um battery jumper. <laughs> Alright, so with one of these uh, battery chargers, um, you can see there's 12 volt and there's 6 volt. And the amps are just the charging speed and how fast you want to charge it for, you know, for my sake. So uh, to jump it, you always want to put it on like 12 volt and whatever your highest amp is. But I'm just going to charge it on this for 10 minutes. And the lawnmower should, you know, fire up really good. Perfect. It should fire up no problem. It is cold out, so uh, might take it a little while to start. But yeah, I'm gonna put this. Um, I'm gonna uh, uh, jump it, but not jump it. I'm gonna give it a fast charge of electricity for a couple minutes, and then it should have enough power to start up. All right, so. I'm jumping something, or not necessarily jumping, but putting something on the charge. You have your cords that you can, you know, plug in. Um, you want to wait to plug this in, so we're going to throw this inside and make sure it doesn't get wet. 
I have my battery on 12 volts because it is a 12 volt battery. 6 amps because it's higher charging rate. And you, you can tell when one of these are off is it makes no shock. Makes no, nothing's coming off of it. No shock. It's, it's not alive. So when you're hooking to your battery, I caught my camera. Hopefully, hopefully I'll stay. All right. So when you're um, connecting to a connecting to a battery, you have your negative, and this one has the positive right there. So red is positive, negative is black, and you want to connect your negative, your black to black. And when you, you want to take your red and connect it to the other terminal or the red terminal. Doesn't matter how you, which way you do it first. And make sure it gets a good charge on there. Make sure it's not loose. I'm going to go ahead and plug this thing in and we'll be back in 10 minutes. Alright, so the jump box has been going on there for about 5 minutes. Um... I'm charging 12 volts, 6 amps. Um, you can jump it with this on there. It's just, uh, I'd recommend to take it off right away. Um, I mean, unless your battery's totally dead and you can't drive without one or run it without one, then you can keep it on there, I guess. But, um, go ahead, clear the key off. I'm gonna have my key up here. I'm gonna pull my choke and we're gonna start this. <laughs> pretty good um got my slip chain here we're gonna test the limits of this thing uh for today's video but uh yeah i think the lawnmower has ran for two three minutes i think it's good um the hood rusted right off of this thing so i have to uh i store it with the hood on so you know the engine and the electronics don't get wet but i have to run it without a hood because i have to I, I ran the um throttle cable with the old piece of twine because the throttle cable broke uh, plus it, it lets it keeps the engine more cool you know in the summertime it's definitely better but in the winter it's not really gonna be hot as long as it has oil in it and it's happy then it's fine gotta put my gloves on on this thing. It's a beast.
So here's our uh, log pile. And all of these logs were pulled up with this lawnmower um, before the throttle cable came out of it. And I haven't pulled any logs since, um, but I have a uh, piece of twine now as my throttle cable. Hooked it right up to the brake. So as soon as you take the brake off, thing revs up, put the brake down, does it, thing's perfect. But um, yeah, it's very surprising that, uh, go ahead and break that down so I don't fall. Um, this lawnmower pulled out this really thick log. I mean, this thing's, I don't know, it's pretty, it's pretty darn thick, you know. And uh, this lawnmower had no problem. I just used this, um, this slip chain. And I should have the clevis on this? Or can this just, well, I think this just, I think I just hooked it on. No, I must have had the clevis. I don't know where the clevis is. So, um, actually, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go find that in the garage here, but, oh, yeah, I just pulled out that one. If we can't, I'll get that big log out, and we'll do, we'll do, you know, a, a test with this and a test with the four-wheeler. Um, let's go find a log. Maybe we can get, find a better log. one not the smaller one we can keep that smaller one but I think that's a pretty good log that's not bad uh, let's go back I'll get a clevis and uh, we'll meet you back here while we're hooking this up work out well. Ready, uh, I'm gonna be a little far away for setting this one up, so hopefully my camera can stay.
I used the force of this other log and I threw it down on this this log here and that was enough force to get it through from the ground so got it our slip knot hooked up and uh, yeah we're gonna give this a little tug see if the old tractor can do it simplicity down get this organized on the trail so we can take it out so yeah this wood is no good look how and this stump was in the ground but the, the, it's just crumpling this stuff over here still seems pretty solid but this is something when you must you, you want to always start your fire with some really good burning wood so you you 100 know you can get it started good and then you want to throw this kind of crappier wood on it just to burn it and get rid of it before you burn your nicer wood but yeah we're all hooked up on the trail i'm gonna see how this uh simplicity does Right, so this is my 2013 Honda Rancher 420 and this thing should not need a jump. should warm your stuff up and, and indeed I did. I let this idle for about a minute and I drove it around for probably two, three minutes. So it should be good to tow this log. I don't see any more condensation coming off of it. So um, yeah, let's, uh, let's put the clevis on, let's hook this on and let's see how well this does. I just noticed, I think this is bent. I don't know how that happened. Yeah, that's that's bent. How did I bend that? Is that was that from throwing squirrel feet on this or? All right, let's uh, hurry up and see if we can bend this back real quick. Oh, I'm 
I'm just getting snow everywhere. Uh, I bent it a little bit. Well, it bent it a little bit, I guess, so, I don't know, it did something. Alright, I'm gonna check, hopefully this doesn't just fall off. I didn't get to finish my sentence, if it falls off, that's nice. I'm just gonna have to hold the camera. Alright. So let's say, oh, you got a four-wheeler, right? Oh, I got a brand new four-wheeler. I do have a lawnmower, and I have to decide if, if I need to get rid of the lawnmower or if I need to get rid of my brand new four-wheeler. I really don't want to get rid of my brand new four-wheeler, but I don't have a lawnmower to cut the grass, so I don't know. It's a hard decision. Do I keep the lawnmower? mow my grass or do I keep the four-wheeler to pull wood out of the woods? Or is that tool do both? I don't know. If, if somebody puts um, lawn mowing blades on a, a Honda Rancher, honestly, I'd buy it. Um, I'd buy it and I'd mow my grass with it. I'm um, assuming that the Sea Boys or something probably already did something like that, so... Um, I don't know, maybe put it on Facebook Marketplace. I might buy one. But it's winter, so I don't cut my grass right now. All right. We're just gonna first gear, go slow and first gear here for just a little bit. I'm not worried about this thing getting stuck with this little bit of mud. It has some pretty good traction on the tires. isn't that heavy it's probably 100 pounds not even don't worry that wasn't a log that was just my plastic in the four-wheeler this thing's having no problem it's just putting along in first gear I was putting along in second gear, but we're doing some off-roading. All right, well, that concludes our test. Honda Rancher did really good. The four-wheelers are meant for this type of thing. Lawnmowers aren't really, but, um, man, if you, if you had a little, if you had a tiny little woods, not something this big, but if you had a tiny little woods and you wanted to clear out a couple logs or something, and man, I'd try your lawnmower, so it probably would work just fine. But, um, I'm gonna unhook this here, because this is junk wood and I, I don't even want this. Um, so, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe to the bell, post notifications. If you enjoyed this type of content, please comment down below, like, and subscribe. Catch you guys next time, Wade Farm.